What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Leo Santa Cruz. He had some interesting words for Gary Russell Jr. After Gary Russell Jr.'s win, he said that him and Javante Tank Davis will beat him, and he accepts the call out. Now, this is interesting from Leo Santa Cruz because we really didn't hear him talk a lot about Gary Russell Jr., you know? And my thing is, as much as I love to see Gary Russell Jr. versus Leo Santa Cruz, that would be a great fight at 126. It'd be a great featherweight showdown. That doesn't mean that's going to happen. Why? Because these are PBC guys. PBC guys don't have fights when people want them to be made. Knowing Al Heyman, knowing the mind, the brain that he has, he will separate Gary Russell Jr. from Leo Santa Cruz, make Gary Russell Jr. go to 130, okay? Fight Javante Tank Davis because Javante Tank Davis is the targeted star at 130, okay? So it'll be a less risk for Javante Tank Davis. You know, the only thing I could see, Gary Russell Jr. has having the speed and he has some power. Will he have that same power at 130? More than likely not, but who knows? You know, but he does want to challenge himself. He's that wild card. You know, he's that guy that wants to fight. He wants those fights. He don't, he's not comfortable just fighting these guys that people don't know of. Like the guy that he fought last night, which was a very tough opponent. Kiko Martinez was a very tough opponent, but no one really knew who he was. Gary Russell Jr. wants a marquee name. Okay. Leo Santa Cruz, you know, he, uh, he had his, his names on his resume. And that's who, and he has a name himself. That's why Gary Russell Jr. wants to fight him. Why not? That fight should happen. But Al Heyman already has him at 126 for the Mexican fans. Okay? He has his fan base. He makes his money. You know, so that's his guy at 126. Therefore, that's he. That's why he's protected. You know, so even if Leo Santa Cruz really wants that fight, which I don't know if he does because he hasn't really been talking about who he wants. Remember, he didn't want Regan Dow. You know, oh, he's boring. You know what I mean? Well, show us how exciting you are by beating that boring fighter. But anyway, um, I feel that that fight probably won't happen. I would be very surprised if it does. But I see Gary Russell Jr. fighting Javante Tank Davis before Leo Santa Cruz. You know, um, so these guys, they don't pick their own fights. They don't make their own fights. I don't think they push for their own fights. I think Al Heyman makes these fights and he does it for a particular reason. He does it because of money. Nothing more, nothing less. And he does, you know, and and, um, and little does he realize that if you got black and brown and you mix them together, you would probably have, you know, more success. However, Gary Russell Jr. doesn't really have the fan base like Leo Santa Cruz because Leo Santa Cruz has a country behind him, you know? So... He's more known in the West Coast and in Mexico. Gary Russell Jr. is like that East Coast guy that is very good but got beat by Lomachenko a few years ago, you know, and never had the chance to make an amends because Loma started jumping up in weight, you know. So um, that's my take on it. I would love to see that fight. Leo Santa Cruz, he's a good fighter, and I would like to see someone with great combinations like Leo Santa Cruz, a good counterpuncher, fight someone quick and fast like Gary Russell Jr. Reminds me of a young Sugar Shane Mosley at 135, honestly, you know, but with his speed, you know, and a lot of people don't throw flurries like that anymore, like Delahoya, like Sugar Shane used to, you know, like Roy Jones, you know, so that he's very exciting to see as a fighter. But anyway, that's my counterpunch on it. You guys tell me what you think about Leo Santa Cruz's statement. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.